Welcome to Hashtag Why Lit Chat. I'm Sahara with the St. Louis Public Library, and in this chat, we typically talk about fiction and nonfiction young adult novels, as well as juvenile fiction titles for tweens. We talk about graphic novels and mangas, and I'm excited because today we are celebrating Mother's Day, even though it's a little later, okay? Don't hate us, all right? It's Hashtag I Love You Mom. Let's get into it. For today's novel, we have a young adult fiction title called Far From the Tree, and this is written by Robin Benway. It was published by Harper Teens Publishing, and it is available on Hoopla and Overdrive in audiobook format, and also on Hoopla and ebook format. Now, this is a really great novel. It's about Grace, who is an adopted kid, and she's an only child, and she is trying to figure out who her biological parents are. Now, the reason this comes up is because because she gives birth to her daughter at 16 and she gives her daughter up for adoption. Now, when she does find her bio family, she discovers she has a younger bio sister and an older bio brother. And this throws her completely off because she goes from living in this world where she's an only child to now being a middle child. And that's hard if it wasn't hard enough discovering surprisingly that she was pregnant and having to give birth all of a sudden. Uh, and it talks about the struggles of like pregnancy tests and all of that. So I'm going to share a little bit about her story with you with the first chapter. It's entitled Grace. Grace hadn't really thought too much about homecoming. Homecoming was something she knew she'd do. She didn't question it, which is why it was so surprising that she ended up spending homecoming night, not in a fancy dress, not sipping out a Max's flask and dancing with Janie and taking cheesy photos of each other, but in the maternity ward of St. Catherine's Hospital, her feet in stirrups instead of heels, giving birth to her daughter. Whew. That's so good. It's so good. I'm just saying it's really good. So I think you should read it, like, or listen to it. I mean, options. <laughs> You all know what time it is. It's time for Shelve It or Read It. Would I shelve the book away or would I read it myself? So up first, we have Almost American Girl, which is by Robin Ha. It is a graphic young adult biography, which is really great. It's about Robin, who is, you know, kind of her and her mom against the world. And they live in this one place. And then all of a sudden, they relocate. And then all of a sudden, her mom's getting married. And she's like, what? my life um and it's all in a great graphic novel package which y'all know i love so i'd read it of course <laughs> that was easy let's go to the next one it's enrique's journey which is by sonia nazario and it is a true story of a boy determined to reunite with his mother and this is where it was adapted from a longer non-fiction book to a shorter young adult reader selection and I think it's worth reading. It is really amazing just from how it's about a teenager from Honduras and he's on this journey to find his mom and that's where my heart resides so I love you mom I'd read it and then the last one we have for today is red white and whole and this one is by Rajani LaRosha and this is a hashtag own voices story about how Rhea feels torn between two worlds it's school and being the only Indian American student and being at home where her family has traditions and values and all of that and she's kind of struggling and trying to figure it all out and especially her relationship with her parents and she feels real conflicted and she's really disconnected from her mom right and they have similar names so it's just kind of hard and I would read it. I feel like today has my heart y'all. I'm not gonna get teary yet or emotional. It's great. Read these books. Thank you so much for tuning in today. If you enjoyed today's novels, give it a thumbs up. Also, head over to slpl.org to check out our latest virtual events that we have available for you. Now for teens, an upcoming event we have is Teen Poetry and Lyrics Lab. It is happening May 15th from noon to 1.30 p.m. And it is completely free to attend. So make sure you click that button to register now. 
Also, we have A to Z resources where you can go to BrainFuse now and get some writing help as well. So in case you have some papers coming up, some essays or something, you can get help right there. I would like to thank you for watching today. And I would like to also thank the author of today's novel, which is... Robin Binway, and I would also like to thank Harper Teens Publishing. I look forward to seeing you next Friday at noon so you can hear about your latest new favorite. Peace.